All right, so in this tutorial, we're gonna go through how to create a real estate voice agent in under 10 minutes, and we're gonna be using the most powerful software on the market today, which is Go High Level. If you're not familiar with Go High Level, at this point, it should be a non-negotiable in your tech stack if you want to be a competent automation operator. So I highly recommend that you sign up for it. There's a link to get a free trial in the description of this video. So if you sign up for that, then you'll be able to follow along with this very closely. So just jumping straight into the platform, you can see this is exactly what it looks like. And it has a native voice AI builder right here, which is what we're gonna be using because simplicity is everything, speed is everything. We don't wanna waste time building complex workflows, integrating many different tools together. All the business owner cares about is quality and how good the agent that you're building is. And this does a fantastic and simple job for us to do that. So to do that, you just go over to the AI agents tab over here. We're going to click on create agent. I'm going to show this to you in a very basic and simplistic format, and you can just add on to the foundations from here. So you're going to click on create custom agent over here. It's going to open up this menu. And from here, we can set all the parameters that we want to build out this agent. So for example, the agent name, I'm just going to pick Sunrise Real Estate Brokerage, which is just one random one that I've picked. Here you can pick the voice that you want to use. There's a whole bunch of options coming directly from 11 Labs. So these are very high quality. So pick one that you'd like. This one sounds fine to me. Here, this is how you can choose the, the first title that the agent is going to say. So, hey, this is uh, so-and-so from Sunrise Real Estate. What can I help you with? So when somebody calls the, the phone number, this is the first thing that the agent is going to say. So we want this to be consistent every time to set the tone of the message. I'm going to set this over here, sunrise. Cool. Then we're going to click next. Next, you're going to set the agent goals. So now if you want to be really basic and simple, then you can just do the standard mode, which is here. But if you do switch to advanced mode, then you have the option to pick basically all the parameters and the prompt that goes in behind it. Now you don't have to go super crazy with the prompt. Honestly, you can just use ChatGPT to write out the prompt for you, which will be very simple, um, especially if you just want to get an MVP or like a demo created just for you know the purpose of just having something made. Um, so that's where the prompt is going to go. Before we go to the prompt, you'll see something here called knowledge base. So knowledge base is like, what is the information that the bot has that it's going to refer to, to answer questions, to know things about the business, to actually know what it should be doing. So we want to be creating a knowledge base. Now, the way to do that is you can go to create new over here and it's going to take you to the knowledge base section. Over here is where you can do create a new knowledge base. I've already created one. So I'll show you what that looks like. Inside of the knowledge base, you can basically give it a website to crawl. So you can put the business's website in here. It's going to crawl it, extract all the information and then train itself on the website. You can manually put FAQs. So if you have um, you know, frequently asked questions that the business owner knows, you can just put the Q&A right there. And then finally, uh, tables will be added soon, but this is where you can import like table format information, which is a lot easier. Now, a little hack that I'll tell you for the web crawler is you, if you don't have a website or all the information you want is not on their website, what you can actually do instead is you can make a Google Doc with all the information about the business. So I've already set this up, like listings here, uh, common call scenarios, literally anything you can think of for the bot, just throw into a Google Doc. You can, again, get this made by ChatGPT. Once you do that, you can share the copy link over here. Put that inside of the, the knowledge source. So you do add source, web crawler, put in the URL there, and it's going to extract everything from that Google, uh, Google Doc, and it's going to remember that. And it's going to use that inside of its conversations. So that's something we definitely want to do. So once you've built up your voice agent there, we go back to the, the voice AI section. Cool, we have our Sunrise real estate agent. So we've got that set up over here. Next, you want to go to the agent goals. You wanna set it to advanced, and then you want to pick the knowledge base that you have um, just created. So now it knows everything about that business. This is going to be populated by default. It just tells you when to use a knowledge base. So feel free to add multiple knowledge bases and tell it to use it when. Next is the actual prompt as well. So you're a voice assistant for X, Y, and Z. I got this from ChatGPT. So if you're doing this for demo purposes, you can basically just say, hey, I'm creating a voice agent for this kind of business. This is the, the, um, this is the objective. This is the tonality. This is how I want it to speak. This is what I want it to speak about. So you can basically create that prompt very easily. Copy paste it from ChatGPT directly into the system over here. You can make it as long or as short as you'd like and just fill it in there. Now, of course, this is more so for demo purposes, but when you actually close the deal and for the client, 
then you can make this far more advanced. So as much as you put into the prompt, the better the output is going to be. Then the other thing we have here is custom actions, which is really cool. So you can do add action and there's some options that you can include for the bot to do outside of just talking, you want it to actually do things. So it could do things like book appointments, send SMSs, escalate things to human beings, trigger separate workflows as well. And I'll show you how that works. So I already set that up, but here you get a new action. Um, once it deletes, we can do book appointment. So you could do a new action over here, book an appointment. So now the objective for this bot is to book an appointment with a broker. So whose calendar do we want to book that on? We'll just book it on mine for now. How many dates should it offer? So you can pick from here. Uh, how many slots per day? So you can customize that how you'd like. Now, the other thing we can also set up is like custom SMSs, for example. So I'll show you that in a sec. So here we could do new action, send SMS. So we could do send listing details. Hey, thanks for... Um, uh, thanks for your interest. You can learn more about our listings at sunrisebrokerage.com slash listing. So this is just an example, right? When should this take place? So when should it send that SMS? When the user asks for more information about listings. And then what should it say before it sends the SMS? So great. Great, I'm sending you an SMS right now with the link. With the link for our listings. Save that. Now, this is just an example of one of many SMS functions you could create. You can make these for any sort of scenario. And I'd recommend consulting with ChatGPT and saying, hey, I've got a meeting with this real estate client. What are some example workflows that I could create to really impress them that are relevant for their workflows? And then you can also trigger like uh, workflows here, call transfer. So if the bot can't answer anything, you can say um, escalate to the office manager or escalate to a senior broker or anything like that. So you can actually put in their phone number and it's going to escalate the call, which is really cool. And then you have far more settings there. So, you know, we can go through these one by one, but I just want to give you like an overview of what's possible. So once you save that, next is the phone availability here as well. So you can connect it to a phone number, of course. Um, you can set the working hours. So if the, you only wanted to run outside of working hours, that's fine as well. So you have like options to pick here for different parameters. And then here you can actually see the logs. So how many calls is it taking? How many escalations has it done? SMS is sent. Um, how many hours is it saving the business by, by actually answering these phone calls? So it's pretty powerful there. So now that the infrastructure is set up, uh, we can actually test out this agent as well. So I will ask it to call me. So on the right-hand side, it says here, test your agent. So I'm just going to put in my phone number. If I do call me, I'm going to get a phone call in just a second. As you can see here, phone number's coming in. Hopefully you can hear this. Oh, it's connected to my AirPods. One sec. Hey, this is Sophie from Sunrise Real Estate. How can I help you? Yeah, can you tell me about your services? At Sunrise Brokerage, we offer a range of services to cater to your real estate needs. We work with investors, buyers, sellers, and renters. Our team includes specialists for first-time buyers and rental leads. We can guide you through mortgage pre-approval, property tours, and more. Would you like to book a consultation with one of our brokers? Yeah, actually, that'd, that'd be great. What's the process for that? Great. To get started, I'll need your email address to send you the appointment confirmation and details. Could you please provide it? Yeah, before we do that, could you actually tell me about some of the listings that you have available? Great. I'm sending you an SMS right now with the link for our listings. I've sent you the details of our current listings. Now let's get your appointment booked. Could you please provide your email address so we can send you the confirmation? Yeah, it's uh, Hamza at test.com. Thank you. Just to confirm, your email is hamza at test.com. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Now let's get you scheduled. Would you prefer an appointment on Wednesday or Thursday? Cool. Honestly. So you guys get the point there. You can basically book the, the appointment on whatever you know, timeline or availability that you set, and it will do that directly on the calendar. It'll send the confirmation. It'll do everything that it needs to over there. You can also see right here that it is processing this call. So it's going to show up. Uh, it's a test call, so I'm not sure if it's going to show up here, but normally the transcript will come, the summary of what happened in the call, all that information will be available inside of the dashboard, which is really cool.
So if you need, um, if you want to use this for demo purposes, this is very quick to get set up in under 10 minutes. You can impress the lead with a demo of this, um, you know, ready to go all set up. And then if they are interested, they want it set up, then you take your time and you build out a very solid, robust prompt that is tailored and integrated directly to their workflows. But just from a starting capacity, this is a very simple way to get up and running. And you can actually start building this completely for free. So if you use the link in the description of this video, you sign up, you get access to the software. Um, you'll also get my prompts and things included with that inside of my school community. So you can join that as well. There'll be a separate link. And then combining all of those two things, you can have like an army of different agents, which you can offer to different niches. And you can basically just impress them with, you know, having this ready to go even before you meet them, which makes a massive difference because AI sells itself only if you can showcase it in practice and they can interact with it and they can experience what it looks like, you know, using it on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's really what you should be doing is creating these demos, building up your portfolio, showing your expertise, and then uh, it really does sell itself. So if you have any questions, you can get in touch with me directly on school. You can leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll work, you know, directly to answer all the comments and help you work through this. But this is an amazing way to get up and running with no technical skills, no barrier to entry. Like it's literally just, you know, copy paste with English. Um, there's no coding or custom integrations involved. So definitely set it up. If you have any questions, let me know, but I'll see you in the next one.